Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing this look for you guys. I really wanted to do another kind of like summertime makeup tutorial. I was trying to go for a bronzy look, but clearly I got steered in a different direction. I was playing around with the Dream Street palette by ColourPop and Kathleen Lights, and I ended up using this blue for the lid and it is stunning. It is so, so beautiful, and I actually love how this look turned out. I feel like it's, you know, like a pop of color, but yet it's so wearable, and I love it. Like, I am obsessed with this look. I wish I had somewhere to be, but it's actually midnight while I'm filming, so I really have nowhere to go besides going to bed so I hope you guys enjoy this look that I did all the products I use are super affordable pretty much everything's from the drugstore and if it's not from the drugstore it's from brands like Colourpop, BH Cosmetics you know super affordable stuff so I hope you guys like this tutorial and let's just go ahead and get started so I already went ahead and primed my eyes with my usual primer my Essence I Love Stage eyeshadow base and for today's look, I'll be taking this beautiful Dream Street palette by ColourPop and Kathleen Lights. And I'm going to be starting off with the shades Twinkle and Stardust. These two shadows, I feel like, are the perfect shades to use as a transition color. So I'm going to be taking a big fluffy brush and applying these two shadows into my crease. I love ColourPop shadows because they apply so easily and are so pigmented and easy to blend. So I'm just going to continue blending those two shadows into my crease. Next I'm going to be taking the shade Water Bear and I'm going to be taking that on a more kind of like precise crease brush that's a bit more tapered at the end and I'm going to be focusing this shade directly into my crease and making sure to really blend it out and while I was blending this out I felt like I applied maybe a little bit too much of this shadow so I did decide to go in with another blending brush and I applied a little bit of our transition shades Twinkle and Stardust onto that brush to really help blend everything together and so that we didn't lose our transition color so everything is gradient and very blended. Now I'm going to be going into the shade Moony which is kind of like this deep kind of like chocolatey purpley brown and I'm going to be applying that with a precise kind of like tapered brush and I'm applying that strictly in the outer portion of the eye Honestly, out of all the shadows in this palette, I feel like this is the only one I kind of dislike. And not because of the color. I think the color is beautiful. I kind of disliked it just because of how hard it was to apply and blend out. I really had trouble blending this shadow out. I had to take multiple brushes to kind of help me. I felt like it was a bit dry. I don't know if that's just my palette or like what because normally ColourPop shadows are very creamy but with this shade I just had a lot of trouble blending it out so if you do recreate this look and use this palette just take your time and be patient with this shade. And now for the lid shade I'm going to be going in with this beautiful blue. I'm actually going to be using a brush with this shade and I didn't wet my brush or apply any like concealer onto the lid and this had such amazing pigmentation. I absolutely love how this color went with like the warm tones in the crease. It just felt very like summery and I absolutely love how this shadow looked. It's a very kind of like bright color and it had a lot of like glitter in it and I did get some fallout from it but overall I think the shadow is just beautiful it looks stunning on the lid and it really gave this look a pop and now I'm going to be mixing all the shades that we used into our crease and I'm going to be going in with a small precise brush and really making sure to blend it into the crease making sure we didn't lose any definition there and also making sure we didn't get any blue shadow into our crease taking my time really blending it out and now I'm going to make sure to blend the shade Moony with the blue really making sure to go back and forth lightly with my brush not trying to rub off any of the shadow just really taking my time and making sure to blend it so that there isn't just like a harsh line there 
So I went ahead and did foundation, concealer, and powder off camera. All the products that I used will be down in the description box. Now I'm going to go ahead and finish up the lower lash line on the eyes. I did go ahead and apply the tiniest little black strip of liner on the eyes just so when I apply my false lashes uh, you can't really see the band. So now I'm going in with the palette and I'm going to start off with these two shades, Stardust and Twinkle. And then taking a little bit more of Stardust and Twinkle and then going in with Water Bear, I believe is the shade. And I'm going to be going from the outer corner of the eye to the inner corner of the lower lash line, blending this out. I really want to make it very blown out. And I'm also going to be connecting it to the outer portion right here where we have the top shadow. So I'm going to be blending it into that. And now I'm taking a clean blending brush and blending out that outer corner. And I'm also going to be using that to blend out the lower lash line. Blending this out is really going to help so that we don't have like any intense harsh lines. And for the brow bone highlight, I'll be taking this shade, which is Elfish. And for the inner corner, I really wanted kind of like a pop. So I'll be using the shade Mermaid Boy right here. And it has a really pretty like shift. So it looks kind of blue. It looks kind of silver. It's just a very interesting color, so I really wanted that to be the inner corner highlight. And I'm actually going to drag some of that shade right here, just to really make the eyes pop. And so we're officially done with the eyes. All I have to do is apply lashes, and I'll be doing that off camera once I'm done with the entire face. So now I'm going to move on to bronzer. I will be using the bronzer in the It's My Ray Ray palette. I'll be going in with the shade Chai and Mocha. And I'm also going to just lightly bronze up the forehead just to give it more of like a sun-kissed look. And for blush, I wanted to go in with this Essence Satin Blush, and this is in the shade 20 Satin Love. It's just this really pretty kind of like neutral blush, and it's a matte. I didn't want to do anything like really intense on the cheeks, just because we already have a lot going on with the eyes. So this is just kind of like a nice, simple blush. And I'm going in with some translucent powder and applying it under my bronzer and my blush. And for highlight, of course, I had to use Moonlight and Radiant. So I'm just going to mix the two and pop it on the cheekbones. And for lips, I'll be lining my lips with this NYX lip liner, and it's in the shade Nude Beige. And now I'm going in with my Maybelline Vivid Hot Lacquer. This is in the shade 64 Unreal. I'm going to apply just kind of like a light layer of this. And I feel like this lip color paired really well with that lip liner we used. And now to kind of lighten it up, I will be going in with this Flower Beauty lip gloss. And this is in the shade Baby's Breath. It's a really, really light kind of like baby pink. And now I'm just going to blend away the translucent powder. 
and do my lashes off camera. So this is the final look. I did apply false lashes off camera. I used my Christina WSP lashes. I buy this little set off of Amazon. You can get it like a lot of lashes for like a very fair price on Amazon. So I applied these and they're very like wispy and long. I really like them because of that because you can actually see like the look through the lash. Sometimes when you apply a thicker lash, it's kind of like it blocks all your work that you did so I honestly love how it turned out and I really like how this lash complements this look thank you so much for watching I really hope that you guys enjoyed this look don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video bye